Every jammer down in Jamal liked the Jamaldes a lot. But the Pink Otter, who lived just north of Jamal, did not. The Pink Otter hated the Jamaldes the whole Jamaladay season. Now please don't ask why no one quite knows the reason. Wait, hold up. I, I don't hate the Jamaladays, it is just a little overrated for its events. What do you want me to do? I'm the narrator and I need this intro to rhyme. Well, I'm not gonna let you do it this time. Wait. I probably just summoned a heavily debatable crowd of jammers already typing a debate about the title of this video, and I'm gonna just stop you before you send something cruel. I mean, sure, you can still send it, I'll, I'll just be sad about it. It's whatever, this is my opinion, and this channel is a safe space for opinions, so by all means, comment your opinions. So, the Jamalides are... Uh, overrated. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not gonna beat around the bush about it. It's overrated. Sure, the event has its pros, like free gifts every day, and... Uh, yeah, I, I got nothing else. This video may be hypocritical of me, considering I have a Jamalade den of my own, and my main animal is festive for the event. But, can we agree that the event is a little bit lacking? You may think that the Jamal days are festive and fun, and to a point, you are right. However, if we were to compare this event with the random example, Night of the Phantoms, you can see a clear example of the differences in lore. Night of the Phantoms is a progressively building event in Animal Jam, where it introduces the Phantom lore and the main antagonists of the game. I may be biased because my otter's lore states that her father is a phantom, but Night of the Phantoms is one of the best events in the game. But the father thing, how does that work? What sets Night of the Phantoms apart from the Jamaladays is the fact that the lore of the Phantoms remain constant throughout the Animal Jam community. Even in the summer months, the Phantoms are always given some sort of shenanigan to complete. But the Jamaladays? They just happen. The first day of December, boom snow in a calendar. No buildup, no theatrics, or Dr. Seuss poem to sweeten the mood of the season. Just bada bing bada boom, here's a gifting tree, go beg for free stuff, kiddos! I think the Jamaladays is an excuse for Animal Jam to take a break from giving actual updates to jammers. Because every time a new bundle comes out, it doesn't really set their bundle apart from all the others released throughout the years of the Jamaladays. The bundle is just a starter pack of animals that jammers really want and a collage of repeated items behind that ridiculous price tag. Like what the heck, Animal Jam? Last year it was just 1,000 sapphires, now you increased it by 200? Are you serious? And even the advent calendar reuses items that Animal Jam used last year and the years before. Look at this, we had this hat last year! Oh well, at least we have the spike pack runs. Maybe. But that might be the only thing that is actually good. This year, Animal Jam actually reset the colors of the spikes and made them somewhat more appealing than last year. Like, look at my spikes that I got from the pack runs of 2023. Aren't they pretty? It, no offense, Holly. Aww. In all seriousness, I'm not saying the Jamal Days is a bad event in general. It is really fun and I actually consider it to be one of the most reviving experiences. However, I do believe that Animal Jam could do a better job at making the experience more memorable. I think we can all agree that what we're missing from the Jamal Days is a crossover Phantom Jamal Day event. How hard would it be to take the Phantoms, throw some disguises that could pass as alphas, and they go around Jamal and pass around Phantom Jamal Day items or something? It would make the lore of Animal Jam so much more appealing. And their poop can turn the snow purple! I would have loved that as a kid! I'm, I'm thinking out loud here, I'm just now realizing how stupid that sounds. But you get the idea. I realize this video is more of a complaining video than it is an actual video aligned with facts, but eh, this was fun to edit. Hi, excuse me, I'm Editor Otter here. I have no script, so I may sound completely stupid, but as I was editing this video, I was getting a stupid amount of notifications, and I was wondering what the heck was going on, and then... Uh, um, there... There's a lot of you now. Hi! Oh god, I, I, I need to get better at this. I don't know what to say, besides... Thank you so much. Like, my heart... My heart can't even speak, it's that baffled. baffled. It's... I can't even speak! Dang it, I'm, I'm failing at this. 
thank you so much for watching me and following me around. This, ser this seriously makes my heart really happy. And what happened then? Well, in Jama, they say the pink otter's small heart grew three sizes that day. Send help. <laughs>